What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Horizon. Let's get straight into it. Are you kidding me? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? I just want you to know that I know that they is not mine. These results Brutal. were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Rut row. You are shaking. I, I know. <laughs> I feel your nervousness from here. Are you okay? Yes. Your Honor, I am, I'm perfect. Okay. I just want to get it out there. I want to know the truth. I, she deserves it. She deserves that big thing. In the case of Benning versus Bodine, when it comes to 23-month-old Robin Benning, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Benning, you are not the father. <sighs> Tarny Fraud's brutal, bro. Look at her. Big back, big back. Unreal. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, no. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to be there. That's why I say men are the true romantics, bro. Men are the true romantics. He's, he's still willing to step up, even though this woman is vile for lying about that. Mr. Benning, what are your hopes? I hope Jermaine's mine. I, I really do. Um, oh, he got two kids? Good to know at least one of my kids is mine. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, um, God. I, I'm looking forward to spending all the time I can with him. Sounds all like right. a good dad. Well, let's get these results. In the case of Benning versus Bodine, Two babies. when it comes to six month old Jermaine Benning Jr., it has been determined by this court. Mr. Benning. You are not the father. Oh my lord. <laughs> what the? Both of the kids and his. She's a runner, she's a track star. And she, she, she's not even reacting. She's like, yup, I'm a runner. Oh. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Benning. I'll be ready to crash out. And the thing is, this is why it's so hard being a stepdad, especially to these younger children. Well, he didn't even know he's being a stepdad. Paternity fraud is horrible right now. But you're, you build a bond with these kids. And as men, it's really hard for us to build these bonds because, you know, we usually hold up a wall because we don't let everybody get close to us. But he's built a bond with these kids. And now that bond is just pretty much meaningless, even though he wants to keep it around because he probably loves those kids because men are the true romantics. We actually love unconditionally. Women don't love unconditionally. Um, unless you disagree, let me know, chat. I think men love unconditionally and women love conditionally. Conditionally on the conditions that you have something to provide. But if you got nothing to provide to them, they're not going to love you. Cribs and playpens and toys. And I've done everything that I do. And... Mm, mm, mm. And she said, sorry Ms. once. Ms. Bodine, do you know who Jermaine Jr.'s father is? He's a junior. No, Your Honor. I didn't know that was going to come out like that. You did know he was going to come in like that. Shots fired! <laughs> I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. 
And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. You know, I've just come out of a marriage. Ex-wife laments how her life has been ruined after her divorce and says she's single. And my life is really just all over the place. And it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot for me. So it'd be a lot for a potential partner to have to deal with me. And I mean, like, yeah. I literally think that last week I had some sort of mental breakdown. But I'm fine again now. Camp County man claims a major I triumph bet. in his three-year quest to protect men from paying child support for children they didn't father. Last year, he helped change Georgia law, and today his work was put to the test with his own future on the line. Fox 5's Lisa Crane has the story. I love these old news clips. It's just, and I know it's probably not super old, but it's just so nostalgic for me. Okay, the first case is Tony Odom versus Carnell Smith. But it was a case that didn't make it into open court. After years of fighting, a judge today ruled Carnell Smith was not responsible to pay child support to a child he did not father. Almost three years ago, a DNA test proved that the then 11-year-old girl he had thought was his own was not his child. But in Georgia, God. that didn't mean the end of his own obligation to financially support that child. Smith turned his case into a crusade and helped shape paternity fraud legislation that passed last okay. year. Today, his case was the first to test the new law and in chambers the judge terminated his parental rights and obligations i feel this is a major victory for 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 defrauded victims everywhere there were a lot of people watching this case like wow. reverend randall robinson through dna testing he discovered that some of the children he had always thought were his own weren't in a previous marriage and uh two out of the three children uh, are not mine at that time, I still was ordered by the court to pay child support. And this is the first real test of this new legislation, but it appears right now that even after a man proves he is not the biological father, he must still come to court to end his child support obligation. Smith says That's there's crazy. still work to be done in Georgia. We're going to ask that there be a truth in pregnancy disclosure, that we believe that mothers who know there's more than one person that could be the child's father should be required to make that declaration before the court in the very first hearing. In DeKalb County, Lisa Crane, Fox 5 News. I could agree with that. But can you imagine a woman getting in the court telling her bop lore? She's a runner, she's a track So star. there was Chad, there was Tyrone, <laughs> there was Chris, there was Jason. I mean, they all... <laughs> can you imagine, bro? Carnell Smith is also working on similar legislation and more than 20... And the judge is like, I love it when a woman tells her bop lore. <laughs> Bob Lohr's in the chat. Other states and in several other countries. He says he would still like to have contact with the now 14-year-old girl he thought was his daughter, but he says that's up to her mother. Brutal. Are you kidding me? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? I've seen this clip a few times. not fair. This is when women get out of divorce. They really do think they just going to get it back. They really do. And you can just tell by her look that she thought she was about to come up. But she did not. She came up short. He is, you have to believe him. When anybody shows you who they are, you have to believe them. Like, he doesn't have to bring nothing to it? Nothing? That's the <laughs> that comes with being a woman that is so ride or die about love. So ride or die, you got divorced. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> You were just cheering about your divorce, and now you're all upset? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, learn your partner before you, you jump ahead and fall in love with the words and all of that stuff that make up this fairy tale. Because when no one's looking, that's when everything just goes left. Financially, She's the runner. kids She's are my responsibility. Though. I have primary custody of them. Damn. But I'm strong. And I'm here. I will always believe in love. Love is real. She looks strong. Real. But I'm going to take time to love on me and pour on me. And I want to learn this new woman that I am. This woman that has learned to Stupid. emotionally be in control. Miss Laura? 
Yes, ma'am. You brought She's this really emotionally in control there. This case before the court, what's going on? I'm trying to get my baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> Ribs. Chili's baby back. <laughs> Stupid. I'm trying to get my baby back. Honey, go to Chili's. Okay. My, uh, I had, so I have two babies. Okay. And, um. Two baby daddies. I had, a, I just had another baby with my boy. He's not my boyfriend anymore, but he hit. Love my it when a woman tells her bop lore. She's a runner. She's a track star. <sighs> first baby so Houston got to take him and I want him back because I don't I'm not with that boyfriend anymore mm -hmm. so Houston took the baby or you lost the baby either way Houston has the baby and I want it back no it's not either way it not even saying that it's a person a him or a she it it's you you lost the baby so did Somebody intervene and take the baby away from you? And yes, the ma'am. They took the baby yep. and gave him to Houston. Okay. And I want him back. Okay. And you have a new baby with your ex-boyfriend? Not ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. So you you guys are no longer together? Correct, ma'am. How old is this new baby? How old's the new baby? Yes. Like eight months. And you're God. done with him after eight months? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I was done with him like 10 months ago. The baby's eight months. Oh, okay. So before the baby was born. Yes, ma'am. Did he come to the birth of the child? No. I didn't want him around. Oh, okay. All right. I love it, dude. I love it how these women shame these men thinking it makes them look better. Chat, let me know. I just think it makes these women look so stupid when they sit here and shame the man that they let hit. You can bash him all you want, but you let him manipulate you. You let him crack your legs like a nutcracker at Christmas. You let him blow your back out. You let him realign your spine. So who really pulled the dub in the scenario? It seems like him, because you were dumb enough to let him do it. You can try to bash him all you want. Somebody want a carrot? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Don't drop it, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. This is crazy. So you now want to get custody back from? Him? Yes, ma'am. Okay. From Houston. Who does the baby live with? Me. The baby? No, my baby lives with me. No, not your child. The how many? She got like 15 kids. So which baby are we talking about? Children? Do you all have between you? Just one. Just one. And the child lives with him. Yes, ma'am. And you want the baby back? Yes, ma'am. I want my baby back, baby back. I just can't. I can't not hear it. Has the baby live with you? The baby has been yeah. living the whole time. Oh, okay. And how old is this child? Five. Five. Oh. And you expect to get child support? Yes, ma'am. And the child has been living with him for almost, Perfect. it's a boy or a girl? Boy. His whole life? Yes, ma'am. Well, when I get my baby back, I want child support. Yeah. He makes way more money than I do. I want my Stupid. baby back and I want child support. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me because nothing you're saying is making sense right now. Stupid. You came to court to ask me to give a child back to you that was taken from you, that's five years old, that's pretty much lived with this man the entire time that he has been they took, taken care of. They took my baby away because my ex-boyfriend is an abuser and I'm not with him anymore, so I want my baby back. Right, but the child hasn't been living with you. The child has been living with him. Yeah, because of my ex, and I'm not with my ex anymore. Uh, yeah, so no, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. He would Single mom. literally have to have given you the child back, and then you come in here after you've been having the child for some time, then you come in here and say, Judge, I want this to be changed. I've been having the child this entire time. I want him to pay child support. That would be a little bit more reasonable. But what you're asking for today is very unreasonable. Okay, well, Stupid. give me my baby back, and then I'll come back in a while and ask for child support. Well, I can't give you your baby back because I never took your baby. Because I don't work at Chili's. <laughs> okay. Actually, nobody really took your baby. You lost your baby for, for your own negligence with your ex-boyfriend. That has nothing to do with me. Okay? Now, fill me in over here. The baby was placed with you after the boyfriend hit the baby. Yep. And he's been living with you ever since then. Yep. You've been taking care of him. Mm-hmm. 
you pay for everything for the child. Everything. What does she do? Uh, I visit. She, she visits unsupervised. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Financially, what does she do? Uh, oh, financially? Yeah. Hmm. No. Nothing. Oh, that's what I figured. Okay. I see what's going on here. Yeah, you came here to waste my time. I love when Judge Vonda says that. I'm not about to play this game with you. You're the one that's going to pay him child support today. What? Yeah, you are. He makes like three times as much money as I do. I have to give him my money? Um, yep. It's for the child, so yes, you do. You do. But the good thing is, it's based on your income. You'll get credit for the other child that you just, your eight month old, you'll get credit for that child. Okay. But yes, you are going to pay him child support. That's just the right thing to do. I love it. It's one child between the two of you. Look at okay. Her. And Flabbergasted. Health insurance. I'm assuming you pay it. Yes. How much is it? 66 a month. $66. I okay. get it through my employer, so. Huh? I get it through my employer. Okay, gotcha. And how much do you make a year? $38,000. $38,000. So I have your gross coming out to $3,200. Gross? That brings your net to $2,648.01. And one cents, giving you credit for the other child that you have. Your child support obligation comes out to $423.69 plus the $66. You're going to reimburse him for health insurance every month. So $66. Add it to 463.69 is 489.69. Okay. 489.69? Did you need me to repeat it? I'm asking you, 489. I have to give him almost $500 a month? Yeah. That's how it works. Did you really think that I was going to have him pay you child support? No, I just wanted my baby. Oh, okay. So. I just want my baby back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. It's too good, gents. It's too good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared. She I'm instantly regrets destroying her marriage of 20 years. I'm scared. This is a big deal. Like, you work and 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 it's just to pay off, like, your basic necessities. Basic necessities, the simple basic necessities. Da 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 da. Me watching him love the babies I had with someone else like they're his. May this may this kind of woman never find me. Amen, bruh. For real though, my dildo. Do not be a stepdad. Do not be a simp. Look at that. Man, this is brutal. Twenty thirty. It's it's it, look. That's why American relationships are failures. That's why American women, on a global context, are the worst for relationships long term mm -hmm. period. That's why the divorce rate is the highest in the world here. And that's why, on the desirability level, American women are at the bottom of the global barrel. This is all statistically documented from men because at the end of the day, the ones who decide if a woman is valuable for relationships is men. Well, the man is the person that's going to have to, obviously, so propose and, and buy the ring. Look at these women coming to the conclusion, wait a minute, he's actually cooking. Because men control access to relationships and women control access to sex. Women out there, you tell me if you think this is fair. I'm 40 years old. I've married this Wait, woman. I think I've seen this clip. I think I've seen this clip. Let's go to this one. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so overwhelming. Like... You work and you work and you work and you work and you work big and you work back, and it's just back. to pay off like your basic necessities. <laughs> Being alone is expensive. Welcome to the adult world. It's not fun paying for everything. You had a man, <laughs> but you blew it. <laughs> ah, and you can't like in this city that I live in, public transport, please. And I really shouldn't be crying because now I have to go to another work event and now I'm going to be all puffy. By the and way, I can't just... afford paying my student loans and credit cards, so I'm getting incessant collection calls and wage garnishment threats. Ooh. Living... Is it worth being alone? Is it worth leaving your man for? It's so expensive. Just keeping your... I already have three jobs, so don't come at me. Get another job. I don't have weekends. I work days and nights. Brutal alive and floating is so expensive and what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted is if I were to take public transport here especially for my job my job requires a car I have to have a bunch of that I have to lug with me for work 
Car's a mess. Car is an absolute mess. I, Cass and I, we've come up with something like the way you treat your house, the way you treat your car is the way your mind is. So if your house is messy and cluttered, your brain is messy and cluttered. If your car's messy, your brain's messy. If I walked around my house right now, clean, top to bottom, but I have a woman. I have a woman, so it does help. I don't do a lot of the cleaning or the cooking, <laughs> but uh, the house is like prim and proper. Everything's in order. And I can't do that with public transport. <sighs> Just, I'm venting. Well, here's what you do, man. If you really, if you, Loki, go to your place. Go. Mommy's just on the phone. Go to your place. If you really are stuck in a rut and money's a problem, dude, here's the advice I would give you. Place. Go to your place. Lay down. Um, here's the advice I would give you. Find a job that gets you a nine to five. Don't work three jobs right now. Bring your living expenses down as far as you can. Move back in with your parents, move in with a friend, couch surf, whatever you gotta do. So work a nine to five, bring your living expenses down. And then from five to nine, work on a side hustle. Work on something that you're really interested in. For example, I'll give you what I did. I worked in corporate sales for a decade. I worked a nine to five for 10 years straight, straight out of college. It took me six years to get an undergrad degree because I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid that yesterday I said Toyota Civic. Stupid. <laughs> in an episode that's neither here or there anyways this is the advice i would give though take it or leave it have a nine to five have your living expenses as far down as possible like i said live with someone crash on somebody's couch work a nine to five and then work a five to nine that five to nine needs to be something you're actually interested in something that you can scale some side business side hustle whatever it may be and it could be as simple as oh i crochet things and sell them on etsy oh i write ebooks oh i post on social media for me it was all social media I posted on YouTube, I posted on Instagram, I posted on TikTok. That's what my side hustle was. Because the thing is, we live in an attention economy. You want to get people's attention, you can make a lot of money off of attention. So just go do that. Work a nine to five, then work a five to nine. Start building a network of other people that are doing the same things as you and learn from them. Try to pick up a mentor. Go learn as much as you can. Stop consuming content and start creating more content. You create things, you'll probably learn. And then try and fail. Everything that you want to do as far as a side hustle, you need to treat it like you're uh, like a scientist and you're experimenting. Oh, I'm going to try this. Before I started doing YouTube, I tried drop shipping. I tried um, doing other things on TikTok, other types of content. I tried being like a fashion blogger. Like, bro, I tried, I tried a lot of different things. I tried being a musician. I'm a failed musician. I'm a failed blogger. You know, I'm a failed drop shipper. You know, I'm, I'm a, I failed at a lot of things before I got to what I was actually good at. So go out there, fail forward, try some things, live below your means, work a nine to five and come home and work a five to nine. Because the thing is, this lady right here, she's exhausted. She's working three jobs, working days and nights, probably working all lower level jobs. So, you know, you're not going to get paid that much. Here's the other option you can do. Go work a nine to five and then from five to nine, go learn a high income skill. You're going to be broke forever if you have to trade your time for money. You're always going to be broke. Go learn a high income skill. Go learn, go learn software engineering. Go learn Python. Go learn, um, which is a coding language. Go learn something that a lot of people will pay a lot of money for you to teach them. Go learn how to be a good public speaker. Go, you know, go learn something that's tough. Go learn sales. Go learn uh, negotiation. You know, go get a sales job. Get, hop on the phones. That's what I did. I was straight out of college broke. So I was like, I'm going to go get a sales job and I'm going to hit the phones as hard as I can. I'm going to make my money. That's how I made my first six figures was from freaking cold calling. The money's out there. But a lot of the times these ladies just want an easy job like TJ Maxx or something like that where they just go and they show up for eight hours and they're like, it's so hard. Yeah, of course it is. You have to go get a job that's merit based work. The harder I work, the more I make. Being a teacher, you don't get that. Just living in America sucks. Living in America does not suck. Living in America is great. Living alone you have, sucks. You have, you have people willing to give up their lives just to make it here. Are you telling me it sucks? No, it does not suck. Look how big you are. Big bag, big bag. Miss a couple meals. Sucks. It's great, but it sucks. Because you have to front all the expenses by yourself. I need a husband just so that I can live, <laughs> so we can split the bills. It's like someone punched me in my stomach and my gut and just like took my air out of my body. I'm not gonna Tell lie. Tell me I'm supposed to breathe my no air. <laughs> <And then> <laughs> <gasps> 
scared. I'm scared. This is a big deal. <laughs> this is a big deal. I'm going to leave my home that I've been in for 20 years <laughs> and rebuild a life that <laughs> Good luck. wasn't supposed to be alone. It was supposed to be with him. It's still hard. Rebuilding your life at 51 years old Ooh. is a lot. After four and a half long, long years, <laughs> it is finally over. It's over. <laughs> I am now a divorced woman. Congrats. And I knew. Congratulations. Join the single mom club. Single mom. Ugh. When this happened and when I got the final word, I knew I would have different emotions and I tried preparing for them. But I don't know how you actually prepare for it because what I feel like is like someone punched me in my stomach, in my gut, and just like took my air out of my body. <laughs> oh. And I'm not crying over the fact that we're no longer together. Stupid. I'm crying over the fact that got to pay all your own bills You're alone. none of it should have happened like it happened huh and there's this sadness inside of me that like it's going to somehow affect our grandchildren and generations to come and i just hate that you know i hate that do you and God, I wish I hated him. Oh my gosh, I wish I hated that man. But I don't hate him. Wait, so you're telling me you divorced a man you don't hate? Stupid. I'm going to be okay. Keep telling I'm yourself. going to be okay, but I'm not going to lie. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is a big deal. <laughs> this is a big deal. I'm going to leave my home that I've been in for 20 years <laughs> and rebuild a life that <laughs> shouldn't have to be rebuilt. Wasn't supposed to be alone. Yeah. Should have stayed it was with supposed to be with him. But don't get confused. Do not get confused. My life is good and I am blessed. <laughs> <laughs> my life is good. <laughs> but it's still hard rebuilding your life at 51 years old <laughs> trying to find a place to live <laughs> probably relocating to a new city or a new state have fun it's a lot but I'm going to do this yeah honey girl power you just watch and see I'm going to be better than ever yeah I've got this I would have start had... start with crying on TikTok. Things get better from there. A man get on his feet. If there are men who are already standing up. Oh, darling, I got some bad news for you. You see, as one of those men who's gotten on his feet, probably has more money in the bank than you'll make in three lifetimes, has been very successful. The question you really need to be asking is not why would you help a man get on his feet, but why would a man who's on his feet want anything to do with you because fired. my man's preaching my man always preaching though what are you bringing to the table oh i know you're gonna say this well i hate to break it to you but this ain't worth what you think it is well that's a prerequisite your looks that's a prerequisite you gotta look cute just to get to the dance that's why we say your looks get you a ticket to the dance but your personality and your attitude is what gets you a date afterwards there's plenty of this to be found mm -hmm. elsewhere Looks the fact everywhere. of the matter is what you're showing to men who are on their feet is that you're nothing more than someone who's looking for a paycheck. You're looking for someone to take care of you. You're looking for someone to bear the burden for a lifestyle you think you deserve so that you don't have to put any effort into acquiring it. The reality is this is the mindset of most of today's modern women. Mm -hmm. The ones who think that they deserve it all while putting absolutely no effort in whatsoever. They think that they are all that, when in reality, they're anything but. And unfortunately for these women, reality is going to smack them right in the face in a few years. They're going to hit that wall, and they're going to realize that all their expectations and dreams about what men are supposed to do for them isn't going to come to fruition. Mm -hmm. They're going to end up alone and bitter. And then they're going to go making videos going, where are all the men at?
I mean, he's preaching. My man's preaching. I think that's the channel for men need to be heard. But that's just how it is. Women get older and, they're, and they're, they think their value goes up when the opposite is true. Their value actually goes down. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really understand why women get this so confused that they think that things get better as they get older. Honey, you're not aging like wine. You're aging like milk. But that's just, it is what it is. Bro, I saw this the other day and I, I wanted to show you guys this. This is um, a chart of how, how, um, how, how couples met back in the day. Let's just look at the difference. Back in the day, it was through family members, which is good because family vets typically. Um, and then it was friends. So, oh, now it's friends. Okay, understandable. School's still up there. Bars and restaurants is getting up. Neighbors, coworkers, church is kind of coming up. College is coming up. Looks like it, yeah. Coworkers, bars, restaurants. This is in the 60s, by the way. We're not even to the 70s. This is now the 70s. Bar and restaurants, uh-oh, not looking good. It looks like bar and restaurants is going up. Divorces also went up over this time. Um, coworkers more. Okay, that's interesting because, you know, you wouldn't figure like, people would meet, you know, coworkers, but now it's more friends. And now it's just more and more friends. Look at this. Online. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. And then look up at the hookup culture. Look where the hookup culture's gone. Oh, my. Jesus. I didn't know it was that bad. I didn't watch this beforehand. I'll be honest. That's actually kind of crazy that it went all the way to that uh, level of online. That's actually nuts to me. Um. Oh, yeah, no, no, I saw this. I wanted to show you guys. It's like why men should pay on the first date. This is what this chick's talking about. Why men should pay on the first date. <laughs> Please tell. $98. But you didn't use all of it. And this man does the math of like all the milliliters. It's like $32, 65 But baby girl, that's the whole, that's if I got the whole thing. I wonder how much it's going to, I wonder if it's like at the very end, because I didn't watch the whole thing. I bet it's like. I don't know, chat, let me know in the comments what you think it is. I think it's going to be like maybe $6, $7. 758 boy, you out your mind, cuzzo. 1205. <laughs> I love it. Um, Loki, did you have a good time today? Shout out to you guys that were in the Reddit. I reacted to a, a video earlier. Um, so hop in the Reddit. Sorry I didn't get to it today. Hop in the Reddit and I'll react to things. But I uh, appreciate you guys. Loki, did you have a good time? Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Cop a t-shirt if you want. The Drizzle Drizzle Kings down there. Soft guy era, baby. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.